So a brand new leak of the Avada 360 just showed up and this one finally gives us visual confirmation of what we've been talking about for weeks. The rotating camera module isn't just a rumor anymore. You can clearly see how it switches from full 360 degree capture to a single forward facing FPV camera. Uh, we already suspected this from the earlier leaks, but now we actually have the hardware to back it up. You can literally see how the camera sits in a rotating housing, which explains why DJI redesigned the front frame with that thicker curved structure. This isn't just two lenses stitched together, they're actually giving you a physical rotation system that switches modes depending on how you fly. It's literally two drones in one, a proper 360 capture drone for creators and a straight up FPV machine for everyone who wants that punchy, low latency flight feel. But here's the big question. And honestly, this is where things can go either way. Can it actually deliver on both sides? Because combining 360 capture with real FPV performance isn't easy. FPV needs low latency, tight control, and a clean forward view. Meanwhile, 360 cameras need stabilization, stitching, and a totally different processing pipeline. Trying to merge those worlds could either be genius, or it could fall flat if DJI doesn't nail the execution. Another part that still doesn't make sense to me, and honestly I think a lot of people are wondering the same thing, how on earth is this thing even rumored to be around 250 grams? If that number ends up being real, it's kind of hard to believe given everything this drone is supposed to do. Avada drones have never been anywhere near the sub 250 grams category. They're chunky, they're powerful, and they've always carried bigger batteries, beefier ducts, and a heavier frame, and this time they're believed to be adding even more hardware, omnidirectional sensing, front and side visual cameras, dual lidar sensors, all of that should technically push the weight up, not down. So the only way DJI gets anywhere close to 250 grams is by cutting weight everywhere else, and the design basically confirms it. The top shell is slimmer, longer, and way less bulky than the Avata 2's tall curved housing. The whole drone looks compressed, like DJI packed everything tighter and trimmed away any unnecessary material. Less plastic, fewer curves, fewer reinforcement ribs, it all adds up. Then there's the battery, which is almost guaranteed to be smaller. That's always the biggest contributor to overall mass, and if DJI really wants to sit under 250 grams, they definitely dial down the capacity. Smaller cell count, lower milliamp hours, lighter casing, the whole deal. Um, the motor mounts seem smaller, and the ducts may be thinner as well, and together those changes would bring the weight down. Yeah, a sub 250 grams of Vada sounds crazy. But before we draw any conclusions, we'll have to wait a little longer. December is right around the corner, and that's when we might finally see this thing for real. That's all for now. Peace.